Thank you, Mr. Circle and the jury to give me a platform to showcase our uh, ventures, uh, Data Catalyst Solutions Private Limited on this platform. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Rajiv Manjrekar. I'm one of the co-founders uh, for this venture. Uh, what is Sales Story? Sales Story, how we define it is uh, it's a lean team technology startup uh, venture. We help organizations build a lean team uh, by using technology. And it's a SaaS-based enterprise mobility solution uh, wherein uh, we create a repository of database uh, using uh, mobile devices. We collect data and we push it on cloud. And this uh, information or data can be again retrieved from cloud. And using some uh, business intelligence tool, we uh, give data analytics to the clients. This is how we define the lean team technology. Uh, we help uh, organizations to uh, use technology and save on the resources and uh, move from a conventional approach to a lean approach and uh, you know, uh, probably increase their uh, productivity. OK, uh, I'll tell you how it all started. We, we, uh, we created this particular uh, application, mobile application. And uh, we started uh, pitching it to large corporates having large uh, FOS, feet on street, on ground. And uh, when we, st we started pitching them, we realized that most of this uh, uh, st you know, staff at the ground level is either on the distribution channel roles or on the staffing company's role. So with my contacts in the staffing industry, I said, uh, let me start approaching the staffing companies and uh, see how uh, they react to this particular product. And when we approached one of the uh, staffing companies uh, for uh, pitching our sales story, uh, what we realized that their problem area was not uh, tracking the sales and account management team, but their problem area was uh, their operationals. Their field recruiters who go out on the field, they wanted to track uh, them. And uh, the data which they collect, they wanted to create a, digitally rep a digital repository of that database. So uh, they gave us a uh, different problem area to work on. And that's how we created the CLCM, uh, Candidate Lifecycle Management. Uh, I'm sure somebody from uh, the uh, audience was asking about uh, what are, you know, how, why, why investors are not reacting to HR industry. or you know. So this is something which we are again pitching a solution for HR and staffing industry. And along with that, we also cre uh, created a, a light version of our sales story called Sales Story Eco, which is a basic uh, version of the sales story application to track uh, the attendance of Salesforce. This is how CLCM works. Uh, basically, if you see, uh, the staffing companies provide the lowest level of staff to large corporates. But this database of these candidates, uh, which uh, go on as uh, you know, uh, uh, external employees or staff, staffing employees, uh, they do not, I mean, there is no digital report, uh, there, there is no digital database of this particular uh, 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 Candidates. So this is how we create, uh, we help uh, in uh, digitalizing the database which the field recruiter collects, push it on cloud, retrieve the information on cloud, and the candidate lineup for the interviews happens. OK, what is the market opportunity? Enterprise mobility is itself a billion dollar market opportunity, next billion dollar market opportunity. Uh, within that, uh, if I concentrate on the staffing companies, uh, most of the staffing companies, global staffing companies, have entered into India. And uh, most of the Indian companies have also shifted their focus to uh, staffing. Uh, if you see, there, are, I mean, there, is, there is a graph which is missing over here, uh, which shows 75% of the total volume is uh, driven at, uh, with flexi staffing. Uh, 3, 000, there are 3,000 field recruiters who collect dat candidate data on a uh, daily basis, but there is no digital uh, a repository of this database. 1.3 million temporary resources in the organized sector in India likely to reach uh, 9 million in the next 10 years. And uh, in, uh, by 2025, 10% of our workforce in India uh, will, be, uh, will be on the flexi uh, staffing, uh, uh, in, in the flexible capacity through staffing companies. That is what the market potential is. This is the team. Uh, apart from me, there are two tech founders uh, who are ex-persistent. And we also have a technology team taking a stake in my company, uh, equity stake in my company. 
and with them there is a team of 25 members who are also uh, a part of my uh, team. We are uh, pitching this uh, for uh, raising one crore of funding, uh, early stage funding, pre-revenue funding, uh, to execute the orders which we are expected, or you know, we are in the final negotiation stage. We are pitching. I mean, we will require a crore of rupees. And since it's a B2B uh, uh, enterprise venture, uh, most of the funds will be used for product development and less for marketing. These are my contact details uh, for the investors. We are also listed on Let's Venture. Uh, so, uh, Rajiv, quick yeah. uh, uh, question. So I'm not very clear on your value proposition. It sounds like you're making the recruitment professionals more efficient. Right. Uh, OK. Uh, who is your customer, target customer segment, the rec uh, recruiters in the recruitment industry or the HR departments? And how critical is your piece? Uh, are you adding very compelling value to them? So if you can just give a quick answer okay uh, right now uh, we are uh, pitching uh, our uh, product to the staffing companies uh, to automate their uh, staffing and operations uh, process and these are our customers and what i see is i'm uh, pitching it to a couple of global staffing companies who have got operations across multiple countries and there is no such uh, automated uh, autom automation solution for them uh, to take care of this uh, business and there are around 3000 field recruiters as i said so uh, I am looking at you know, uh, automating the, uh, you know, giving this particular uh, solution uh, to this particular industry. And through this industry, going ahead, we are also planning to pitch uh, with our sales story eco platform to their clients who are uh, a part of uh, FMCG, Pharma, Telecom, BFSI sector. Yeah, uh, so organizers, could you just tell us how much is the Q&A part of it? As in, because we are. Uh, Two minutes? Okay, cool. So we, are, we still have a few seconds. How do you price it per installation, per customer? How are you pricing this? There is a one-time set of fee, and then there is a licensing fee. So a subscription per, model? Yeah, per, subscription per, model. Per yeah. user or per, 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 per user per month. Correct. See, you know, there are a lot of these uh, places, platforms from where people source flexi staff. Right. Correct. Uh, at least the global platforms I have seen also provide the tools to manage them. Do okay. you see that as being a m more strong position? That the supplier is also giving the tools as opposed to a specialist player standalone like you? See, ultimately, the database uh, is, has to be collected using the uh, field force. Okay, uh, there may be tech tools which uh, the staffing companies are using right now, but they are basically web based platform or you know, desktop uh, you know, uh, solutions which are there. There is no mobility enterprise, enterprise mobility solution which, is, which they are using right now, and the database which they are collecting is right now they're using pen and paper to collect the database. So ultimately, that uh, piece of business is still not automated. So they are going uh, their own way. Though there are companies which uh, offer database in digital form, but most of these big staffing companies would like to rely on their own database which they collect from market. Okay, I'll, I'll just quickly move to the next question because yeah. we're totally out of time. Last sure. question from me is, uh, since you said 75 lakhs goes for product development, 10 for R&D. So right. 85 out of 100 lakhs is primarily for making the product. Uh, so at the end of consuming this one crore, what would we as investors expect to see happening? As in, what is the outcome we are looking at? That you'll be ready to go to market or what would have happened? See, there is uh, proof of concept ready right now. We have uh, showcased our uh, uh, POC to uh, uh, two, three staffing companies who are showing uh, interest and we would be signing our first work order to start our work. To execute this order, we'll require these kind of funds. So once we start executing these orders, in the next four to five months, we should be starting our revenue generation. And once the revenue starts generating, we'll be self-sustaining. And to probably scale it up, we'll be looking at next round of funding probably a year down the line. Fantastic. Thanks, Rakesh. Uh, we're very Thank happy you. and impressed with what you've done. Good luck with your, Thank you. your company. Yeah. Thank you.